versus aggressively playing to win. It's like in football playing prevent defense. Okay, did you watch the Louisville Seton Hall game yesterday? No. One team played not to lose, and Louisville stormed back and probably easily could have won the game. I only saw about the last four minutes, and I thought, well, they're done now, down 12. Oh, yeah? The other team held the ball, held the ball, held late the shot clock, just hold it, trying to get out of this alive. Almost don't get out of it alive. Prevent defense and playing not to lose. Prevent defense prevents you from winning. That's what it does. And I think the same with trying to play not to, you can't be aggressive, you can't be on your toes, you can't make the free throws you have to make, you can't make those. Are you those saying the guys feel pressure about trying to keep winning, or they feel pressure If they did, I don't think our guys are. If Why do you think they're playing not to lose? No, I don't, I didn't, you're not listening to what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying you don't want your team to play that way. My team's fine, I mean, she's the will to win these guys have. Our issue is we don't play 40 minutes. There's a point in the game where we stop playing, they come back and we think we're gonna be fine. We're fine. Well, with a kid like Clark, he'll come down and you think you're fine, and all of a sudden he makes two bad shots. He took a bad shot and he made it. And now you go home and out. And so we've got to we've got to guard against that letdown in this game. John, somebody yeah. paid a hundred thousand dollars after dinner with you. What do you think? Uh, better wear a tuxedo. And, uh, <laughs> I, you know what? It was more about the cause, I think, than it was me. It was probably more about Ashley Judd than me too, but. Um, you know, I met him yesterday. Um, he's from Lexington, or from Kentucky, I should say. Um, good guy. Uh, it's neat, I mean. But you also had people that were bidding on all kind of things, but the, 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 the stories that touched me were the 6,000 t-shirts that were bought, or more now, I don't even know if it's 7,000, for $10, because that's all they could afford. Or the lady that calls me, who husband, they're both laid off, has no money, wish she could send something, and wants to give us the bottle of Maker's Mark 96 commemorative. Now, if you all have it, that's very, that's a prized possession. She had no money, she and her husband, and wanted to give the bottle to auction off because she's giving whatever she has. That's crazy. Now, I appreciate the 100,000 and the 25, you know, the 12,000 for this, the 10,000 and, well, really 160,000 that was raised on the eBay. But I also appreciate the people that gave $5 and $10 because that all added up. There were 60,000 calls attempted, 60,000. And, um, you know, Nazi Mohammed stepping up for 10,000, how about that? I mean, it was just a, it was a, it, it was another level of Kentucky that I learned about. And again, it's, you know, this, we, we've got a lot of issues in our own state. And people that supported this effort, probably more than half were struggling themselves. And they said, I know I'm struggling but I'm doing better than that and I can help and I can step up and we did, which is neat. But right. for a hundred grand, I mean, that's a lot of pressure. You can't just make leftovers. Yeah, what's your deal? You gotta, you gotta come up with the The biggest thing game. was he gets to see what's behind that wall. No one knows what's behind that wall. Or that's, the, that's, that's the, the issue of what exactly, and then he is sworn to secrecy, by the way. So whoever is seen behind the wall cannot speak so that we can do this again. <laughs> Thanks guys.